next one is genetic drift drift means deviation this is deviation from the normal gene pool and genetic drift was given by sewell right and therefore known as sewell right effect so please write genetic drift was given by sewell right and is also known as sewell's right effect drift means deviation or change therefore genetic drift means change or deviation from the normal gene pool uh, see here take two population groups population group a and population group b say for example they have a population of 100 out of which one person has a defective trait or gene or allele for a particular disease so one is having a defective allele or gene responsible for a disease genetic disease how many how many are there 100 out of 100 how, how many are having defective only one now consider a population of 1 lakh out of which 1000 here are having the defective allele or gene responsible for a genetic disease whatever may be, genetic disease now under these two conditions generally if you think the probability of the probability of elimination of defective trait in this case is more or less probability of elimination only one is there no is more that means if the person is eliminated then all will be healthy just like pedigree analysis if everyone is healthy then there is no point of pedigree analysis likewise here we are making one defective in order to see the probability of elimination or continuation and that is why we have taken defective you get my point now here if you see the ratio is same isn't it ratio is what one in 100 only if we three and three zeros if we cancel one in 100 this is one in 100 but population size is large at the same time number of people having this defective alleles are also more so here chances of elimination or probability of I'll write chances only. Chances of elimination are more. Here, chances of continuation of defective trait are more. Maybe after some time, many people will start suffering. You get my point. So, in either case, if you see here, in either case, it is a deviation from normal frequency of alleles and genotypes thereby distorting according to hardy weinberg law what it should be next generation also 1 by 100 next generation here also 1000 by 1 lakh but generally this is the reality you get my point this is what is a deviation here what happened deviation from the existing gene pool which is otherwise known as genetic drift. please take this one i think you can directly take this one Selecting the right optional subject for the UPSC exam can be a daunting task, especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt. But what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference? That element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IES Academy. Our Anthropology Optional Foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by N.P. Kishore sir ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks, such as Akanksha Singh, 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra, Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajink Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt, and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. 
Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.